This brief presentation introduces Medela's Symphony Plus breast pump, designed and verified by clinical research to help more moms produce more milk. Using computer-based technology, Symphony Plus integrates two unique pumping programs to meet the needs of all pumping women at any phase of lactation. Symphony Plus was developed with the idea that normal infant breastfeeding behaviors vary during the first week after birth and that each sucking pattern has a purpose. The Initiate program is a specific combination of different sucking patterns designed to mimic new babies' irregular sucking during the first days of breastfeeding. The Maintain program contains Medela's two-phase expression technology which imitates normal infant sucking once mother's milk comes in, also known as lactogenesis 2 or secretory activation. The Maintain program is composed of a high-frequency stimulation phase to elicit milk letdown, followed by a slower, deeper suction pattern for milk expression. Together, these Symphony Plus programs ensure each mother has the pumping pattern most appropriate for her individual circumstances. Careful observation of new mother-baby dyads reveals infant sucking is initially very irregular. Sucking bursts are of different strengths and frequencies and are often interspersed with long pauses. In the past, many clinicians have thought this behavior indicates infant is sleepy or not interested in feeding. Now we understand this type of sucking is completely normal and that it's programming mother's breasts for optimal milk production that will begin in a few days. The Symphony Plus Initiate program mimics early newborn sucking, so it includes a mixture of three phases stimulation, expression, and pauses. With the Symphony Plus, mothers use the Initiate program until their milk comes in. Once women are producing increasing quantities of milk, they're ready to switch to the Maintain program. When mother's milk increases from very small volumes of colostrum to copious amounts of milk, Babies will instinctively breastfeed using a two-phase sucking pattern. In the beginning of a breastfeeding session, babies will suck rapidly to elicit a milk ejection reflex. Once milk letdown occurs, babies receive a milk bolus with every suck, requiring them to suck more slowly and deeply to coordinate sucking, swallowing, and breathing. The Maintain program mimics infant sucking patterns after mother's milk comes in. Like infants nursing at breast, it follows a pattern of a stimulation phase followed by an expression phase. The Maintain program is designed to express milk effectively, efficiently, and comfortably. To meet the needs of all pumping mothers, Symphony Plus contains both the initiate and maintain programs. If mothers or infants are initially unable to breastfeed, the initiate program should be used until secretory activation occurs. Once a mother's milk begins to come in, she is ready to switch to the maintain program. She will continue to use the two-phase maintain program as long as she pumps. Several studies of pump-dependent women demonstrate the combination of the initiate and maintain programs has significant positive effects on milk production. The first clinical trial of Symphony Plus, conducted by Meyer and colleagues, focused on pump-dependent mothers of preterm infants less than 34 weeks. Mothers were randomized into groups. Results presented here are of the Symphony Plus group and the Maintain Only group. Among other measures, mother's average daily milk output was compared between groups and with milk production of breastfeeding women with term babies. On the first day after delivery, mothers in both study groups had very small amounts of colostrum, which is to be expected. 
By the third day, both groups were beginning to produce more milk, indicating the beginning of secretory activation. Milk volumes increased on days four and five. Note that mother's milk output with Symphony Plus was significantly greater, reaching the same volume as term mothers by day six, continuing to these levels through the remainder of the study period. Also noteworthy, on day 10, the Symphony Plus group produced 71% more milk than the Maintain Only group. A second study by Torowitz and Associates reported using Symphony Plus with mothers of term infants with cardiac disease at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, or CHOP. This research was descriptive and did not have a control or a comparison group. In the first week after birth, mothers at CHOP who pumped for their babies averaged daily milk volumes approaching 500 milliliters. Average breast milk volumes increased by the end of the second week to approximately 700 milliliters and remained at these levels for the duration of the study. Their results are consistent with findings by Meyer and Associates. A third clinical study by Post and colleagues evaluated milk production outcomes in pump-dependent women using either the Symphony Plus or the Maintain Only program. Unlike the previous studies, these mothers delivered infants of all gestational ages, term, late preterm, and preterm infants. This study confirmed Symphony Plus is superior to the Maintain program alone in initiating and building lactation in women regardless of their infant's gestational age. Mothers who use the Symphony Plus reached lactogenesis 2 more than a day earlier, produced milk volumes of greater than 500 milliliters a day almost two days sooner, and as depicted on the graph, had a significantly higher average daily milk production. Average milk volumes in women using Symphony Plus exceeded those reported by Meyer and Torowitz. Given the unique flexibility of Symphony Plus, it's appropriate for use in a variety of situations. The Initiate program was developed to program mother's breasts for later milk production, whereas the Maintain program was developed for efficient and effective milk expression. The Symphony Plus Initiate program can be used when baby isn't latching well, when there is a short-term mother-infant separation, or with mothers of late preterm infants. In these situations, the initiate pattern may augment breastfeeding, providing important breastfeeding stimulation during this critical time of lactation. Pump-dependent mothers whose infants are unable to breastfeed because of prematurity or illness also benefit from Symphony Plus. In addition, mothers with one or more of the following risk factors may also benefit from Symphony Plus technology. First-time mothers, advanced maternal age, elevated BMI, or unplanned cesarean section. These moms may pump long enough to use both the initiate and maintain programs. Mothers who have already experienced secretory activation and are producing large amounts of milk can use the Maintain program only. When introducing Symphony Plus to new mothers, it's important to explain how the programs work and when to switch from the Initiate program to the Maintain program. Mothers should use the Initiate program within the first hour after birth if baby isn't breastfeeding or isn't nursing effectively, as in the case of a 35-week infant in the newborn nursery. The initiate program can be used with mothers who initiate pumping within the first five days. This would apply to mothers who initially didn't plan to pump. Once she has pumped with the initiate program and her milk volume is sufficient, she can progress to the maintain program. Once mother's milk begins to come in, she is beginning secretory activation. After she has had three consecutive pumping sessions, with a combined milk output of 20 milliliters or more, she's ready to switch to the Maintain program. 
If a woman has not achieved secretory activation after day five, she should switch to the maintain program on day six and seek lactation assistance. Before pumping, teach mother how to assemble the milk collection kit. Emphasize the importance of hand washing before handling clean collection kit parts. To assemble the kit, wash hands thoroughly with soap and water before touching breast pump, kit, and breasts. Avoid touching the inside of containers or lids. Next, carefully push the membrane onto the valve head until it engages and is lying flat. Push the breast shield onto the connector. Next, push the valve head and membrane onto the connector. Position the valve head laterally. Next, screw the bottle into the connector. Insert the tubing into the corresponding opening in the connector. Place the protective membrane onto a flat surface and carefully push the membrane cap down until it engages. Insert the tubing adapter into the opening in the membrane cap. Next, you'll open the lid of the breast pump. Press the oval button on the top of the Symphony Plus and lift the handle. Position the membrane cap firmly on the breast pump membrane to form a seal. Center the tubing connector in the recess in the pump housing. Make sure that the membrane cap engages and lies flush to the surface. Close the lid. Always close the lid when pumping. The lid keeps the membrane cap pushed down to prevent a loss of vacuum that could occur if the membrane cap came off. Refer to the instructions for use for complete assembling and collection instructions. The front of the Symphony Plus has an LCD display, an on-off button, a suction adjustment knob, and a letdown button. To use the pump, first turn it on by pressing the on-off button. The LCD will provide instructions for use. To select the Initiate program, press the Let Down button while the screen displays Initiate Press with the symbol for the Let Down button. After selecting the Initiate program, the program will begin and the screen will display Initiate Running. The Initiate program alternates between stimulation and expression phases with several pauses interspersed. The pump will automatically turn off in 15 minutes, indicating the session is over. It's important mothers use the entire program. At any time during pumping, mothers can adjust the suction adjustment knob to achieve maximum comfort vacuum. To select the Maintain program, Wait 5 to 10 seconds after the pump is turned on. During this time, the screen will display Initiate Press with the symbol for the letdown button. To use the Maintain program, just wait a few seconds. The Maintain program will start automatically and the screen will display Maintain Running to let you know the Maintain program has started. While pumping in the Maintain program, the first phase, the stimulation phase, will last two minutes. If milk letdown occurs and milk begins to flow before two minutes, mother can press the letdown button to begin the expression phase. As always, mothers should adjust suction to their maximum comfort vacuum. When milk has stopped flowing, wait two minutes before turning the pump off. This ensures all available milk has been expressed. Components of the Symphony Plus breast pump and collection kit should be washed and or sanitized at key intervals. Wash and sanitize the breast pump kit and bottles before first use. Wash the breast pump kit and bottles after each use. Sanitize the breast pump kit and bottles once each day. Wash the tubing only if milk is in it or if the tubing is soiled. Wipe the breast pump and case as needed with a clean, damp cloth. Note, breast pump parts should be washed in a wash basin dedicated for cleaning breast pump parts. On the next two slides, we will outline the cleaning procedures for the Symphony Plus breast pump kit. To wash the kit at home before first use and after each use, separate all parts for washing. 
rinse all separated parts that came in contact with breasts and breast milk in cool water in order to remove breast milk residue. Place parts in a clean wash basin dedicated to only cleaning these items. Do not place parts directly in the sink. Soak all separated parts in warm soapy water for five minutes. Wash each part with a clean dishcloth or soft brush. Rinse all separated parts with clean water. Place parts on a clean surface and or towel and allow to air dry. Store dry parts in a clean, cool place when not in use. All parts may also be separated and washed on the top rack of a dishwasher. To sanitize the kit at home before first use and once per day, separate all parts for washing. Wash hands thoroughly. Fill a pot with enough water to cover all parts. Bring water to a boil. Place parts in boiling water for 10 minutes. Allow water to cool and gently remove parts from water with tongs. Place parts on clean surface and or towel. Allow parts to air dry. Store dry parts in a clean, cool place when not in use. If sanitizing your pump kit parts with the Quick Clean Micro Steam Bag, separate all parts that come in contact with your breast and breast milk and follow the instructions on the Quick Clean Micro Steam Bag. Refer to the instructions for complete disassembling and cleaning instructions. Inspect the tubing after each pumping session. Note, if there is condensation in the tubing, shake water droplets out and hang it up to dry. Additionally, you can let the pump run with the tubing attached for one to two minutes or until dry. Follow these steps if milk appears in the tubing or if tubing is soiled. Turn off the pump and unplug it from the power outlet. Remove and disassemble the tubing protective cap and membrane cap. Remove tubing from breast shield. Rinse tubing in cool water to remove breast milk. Wash tubing in warm soapy water. Rinse tubing with clear water. Hang to dry or shake out any drops of water from the tubing and let pump run with tubing attached until dry. Note. The Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, recommends washing parts in a dedicated wash basin. Refer to the instructions for use for complete tubing care instructions. Mothers who are pumping should be encouraged to keep a pumping record, recording pumping time and duration and milk volumes. She can also indicate when she changes from the initiate to the maintain program. Daily review of the pumping record by hospital staff will help identify when a mother is ready to switch pump programs and if she is meeting milk target goals of at least 500 milliliters a day by the end of the second week. Medela's Symphony Plus protocol combines several evidence-based practices for milk initiation and maintenance. The following are some helpful hints. First, educate a new mother about the benefits of human milk. Current, scientifically-based information encourage and sustains mother's decision to express milk for their infants. Next, set target milk volumes for each mother and infant, usually a minimum goal of 350 to 500 milliliters per day, so that infants can receive the highest dose of mother's milk possible. Begin the mother pumping as soon as possible after delivery, preferably within one hour with the Initiate program. Symphony Plus will help mothers establish higher milk volumes within a shorter period of time. Provide mothers with instructions on proper fitting breast shields to prevent nipple trauma and facilitate milk removal. And provide a pumping record to encourage mother's efforts evaluate milk production, and intervene when needed. Additional steps to initiate and maintain milk production include the following. Encourage pumping at infant's bedside to evaluate mother's pumping techniques and enhance her milk production. 
facilitate skin-to-skin -skin contact to enhance maternal confidence, infant well-being, and maternal milk volumes. For mothers who want to breastfeed, assist them with positioning and support to promote comfortable, effective latch. Encourage non-nutritive sucking to increase breastfeeding success, duration, and infant weight gain. And use other tools when appropriate. Nipple shields can facilitate milk transfer in preterm infants, while test weighing accurately assesses infant intake during breastfeeding. In summary, Symphony Plus contains two pumping programs supported by clinical research to help more mothers produce more milk more quickly. Both programs are based on normal newborn breastfeeding sucking patterns, and each has a specific purpose. The Initiate program is designed to initiate milk supply and is used until secretory activation begins. The Maintain program is most optimal after milk comes in, using two-phase technology to elicit milk ejection and effective expression for building and maintaining supply.